what is up you guys welcome to the collective my name is Furman and in this video we are going to be talking about locked 30 frames per second in 2023 why does this keep happening before we get started don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content just like this all right guys let's get into it all right guys so I'm sure you guys have been watching all of the new awesome game announcements that have been coming out. You know, we've had Bethesda, Xbox, Nintendo came out, Sony's been playing. It has been crazy. So we've been getting a lot of events happening, you know, very frequently and we've been talking about it. But, you know, um, I kept noticing that Xbox has been kind of getting grilled because this keeps happening to them a lot. A lot of their last releases that they've come out with have been 30 frames per second locked and you know it's something that keeps happening over and over again and I truly believe it is the reason why so many people are really really angry at Xbox and Microsoft right now and you know to me it's something extremely simple and it's something that you know like it's it's the first thing I'm looking for if it can be 60 frames or 120 frames that's what I want so you know i see this as a simple thing as far as you know dealing with it but for some reason the xbox keeps having to deal with this issue and it's not like it's a powerful enough console because it is the most powerful one at the moment currently it is actually more powerful than the ps5 but for some reason they keep doing this and it just doesn't really make sense for some reason they just keep making these games 30 frames now that therein lies the point of this video and what I really wanted to talk about because this doesn't really seem like it should be an issue and it's you know this is the biggest no I actually scratch that it's honestly the biggest issue when it comes to this new console lineup like this new generation of consoles and a little bit of the previous one too when we're talking about the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro they had this issue too you know the big thing was the big thing that everybody was toting was the fact that these games were going to be 4k and we got them and they were absolutely beautiful but they were 30 frames and you know it, it was it's not a good experience honestly the game might look gorgeous when you're not moving at all but once you start playing it's just really jittery and it's just not a it's not a comfortable experience so i keep telling myself why do they keep giving us this option every single game that comes out not including nintendo games thank god nintendo um and yes i am actually praising nintendo for choosing to do this but why do they keep giving us these options it's either 30 frames aka performance you what sorry i got that wrong it's either fidelity which is 4k 30 frames and it's you know it's got the ray tracing and all of those higher quality textures which is awesome or it's you know a lower resolution but you get 60 frames or sometimes even 120 frames and honestly this is my opinion but i have never met a single person that has preferred fidelity over performance usually everybody that i know picks performance because once it's it's like a drug literally it's once you go and get that 60 frames per second and you're you got that at the base you know because once you go to 120 i mean it is just like it's almost like inconceivable to the eye how smooth it is but once you finally reach that you know it's hard to go back it just makes like everything just looks so crappy and so not good for lack of better words and you know this is actually why i was praising nintendo because they chose to just make the game run its best so usually most nintendo games are you know they they, they were they focus on the game just working performance wise uh you know although you <laughs> it sounds kind of funny but you can't really say that now because a lot of their newer games can't be run because the console is extremely outdated but you know for the most part the consensus is that nintendo focuses on the performance they want the game to just run the best that it can 
you know you don't you don't see any lagginess in smash bros and mario kart you know and most of the zelda games not including link's awakening but for the most part most of these games they just focus on making them run great and so here is my opinion when it comes to this honestly i uh, I appreciate and I absolutely love the Nintendo approach. I don't think Sony and Microsoft has to go this extreme, but honestly, at this point, I would just rather you make one game, just make the game run 60 frames and just make it look as good as it possibly can. That should be the base. In 2023, we should not be having to choose 30 frames and 4k or you know like 60 frames or 120 frames that it just doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense to even make it to, to even allow or to have those options because most of the time i go as far as to say nine times out of ten most gamers will pick performance now yeah there might be one or two of you that are kind of cuckoo for cocoa puffs and Pixelfilly, which I don't understand why you would do that. Um, and you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be so hardcore and tribal when it comes to this thing. There are some games that you know they look okay when you're running them on 30, just because of the way the game is optimized. It's not that bad. It doesn't look that bad. But for the most part, most of these games that are like big budget AAA titles. Honestly, anything that is like third person or first person view, I don't I don't think any of those should be anywhere near or under 60 frames. That's just me. I just think that it is like a lack of understanding and like it's it's really you're just not understanding what the people want because there has been a lot of complaining going on, like seriously a lot. Like Redfall came out Hellslinger, like the the rock song, that a, a song game, like a game where you literally rock out to music and shoot people, is locked at 30. It makes no sense. Like, could you imagine playing like Beat Saber or you know something like that, a musically inclined game, and it's not, you know, 60 frames or even higher? Like, you go to the PC side of things, and yeah, most people are doing, like, you know, you have the Linus Tech Tips where he's like, yeah, we're just going to do 8K, 90 frames, and, the, you know, he just has the PC to run it. But for the most part, most of the time, most people just kind of focus on getting higher FPS. That's why you see all of these monitors coming out that can do 120 uh, hertz or, you know, 240, 255 all of these things most of the monitors aren't even focused on like having it 4k or 8k you know most of the time and most of the ones that do they're usually capped out at like 60 frames but you know whenever you go monitor shopping you really only see like the big the big button that says hey this is how this is how fluid and awesome this thing is gonna run yeah it's probably gonna be 1080p but hey you are getting 255 hertz so yeah all right guys that is my little rant i definitely want to hear what you guys have to say about this because honestly it's been bugging me for a long time you know a lot of these issues keep happening because you know the video game makers or the companies or whatever they keep thinking that we want to be able to choose when in fact most of the time we don't even really need that honestly just 60 frames please for the love of god just please just get us there make all games 60 frames per second yeah all right guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section and as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content just like this all right guys we will see you guys on the next video peace performance over fidelity